live now. We're live now. Good. Start the music here. See if we can get that going. Okay, I'm just waking up. <clears throat> but I'm going to kind of showcase my work. Um, where was the screen on here? There's like a screen on here, but I think I'll just... This is the best way to see what you're watching, right? I had a glitch on my last stream, apparently. And I had to delete like 30 minutes. So... Anyways, I think it's fine. It'll be fine. I just thought I needed to showcase my work, um, and I'm going to go through some of my past projects, too. This is the main stuff I'm going to show off. So let's start, of course, with the uh, recent... Um, it started out as a space station generator, and then I added it to my... Uh, it, as a pixel art generator. And then I added it to... Um, uh, I added a shader editor to the pixel art generator and then I decided you know what why st why stop there um, oh let's make sure this is still working this is cool test that's cool and these don't move around okay you know what's really curious with this shader playground anyways I what I was about to say was um, I wanted to do something similar to shader toy but I decided that um, you know, maybe I should, uh, I want to put that in my stream title. So showcasing my work, let's go like this, coding game, let's put in a thing, because I want to be shader toy. Playground. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's not go with shader playground, let's go shader playground, coding game. There we go. So yeah, what this allows you to do is edit the vertex shader, the tessellation control shader. It's basically an educational tool for understanding shaders. The evaluation shader, um, geometry shader, and the fragment shader. I'm currently not polishing it that much. I'm just getting the functionality going. <clears throat> but it's really quite fun. Um, a little clunky because I do need to add some serious what I think I'm going to do is put a little button for each one of these shaders um, and then you'll be able to just pop out like the vertex shader you want to work on it pop it out to like full screen I think it should be it would be really cool if the shader was like when it popped out it was full screen and then transparent like it is actually but only more transparent than it is now so you could see like what you're working on in real time right behind you and of course I don't have a second monitor at the moment because my TV that I was using as a monitor broke so I'm using an older TV <laughs> so but yeah so there's that that would be really cool to be able to drop that onto another monitor and then work on on one monitor and uh, let's go back to default because it's eye candy. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to showcase. I'm just going to go start showcasing. Um, I'll probably just do a bunch of showcases for the space trader, shooter, the platformer, go through some of my old demos, really, really nerd it up, and then maybe cut the stream and then start stream again. Um, of course, I don't know how long the showcase will take, but we'll see. All right, I'll be right back. <coughs>
Okay, sorry about that. So there's the shader toy. Uh, sh the ultimate shader playground is what I'm calling it. Alright, let's show the space trader and get that over with. <laughs> I'm just like, eh, let's show the space trader and get that over with. No big deal. <laughs> Space Trader. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So we're still working on this. this. is my main project at the moment. Believe it or not, the Shader Playground will be eventually integrated into the Space Trader because I want the ability for the uh, player to manipulate the blocks and stuff. So somewhat like Minecraft, only you can put shaders on blocks, if you can imagine that. Thank you. Yes. I think it's a good idea. I can't wait to put it out, get it out there. As soon as I can get that into the space trader, I'm going to uh, release that and I will charge for that because I need money to live, to dream, to code more and work less outside the house. I currently have a job part time at McDonald's to make uh, make ends meet, pay the bills. Um, But I would like to retire to programming. And of course, if you know how old I am, that would be a somewhat premature retiring, but that's what I want to do. Totally. But, um, bum, bum. but I want to work full time in uh, programming. So l I would like to make that happen if if you are part of my community and you can make that happen. Um, thank you. Please do so. <laughs> so I'll show you the planet since I'm passing by this one here. So there's an animation when you land on the planet that simulates beaming down. Ah, we're beaming down. Okay. <laughs> and then once you're on the planets, it's uh, each planet has different terrain generation. Each planet also has its own palette. So as you can see, there's different colors. Um, I just have them set up right now, not for biomes, but each level of Y is a different color through the palette, so you get to see the palette. And then I've just got random things that I put in here from shaders. You see, I can put a shader in there. And the next thing I'm going to do, in fact, this is probably going to be the next iteration of the shader playground, and then I'll put it in the space trader, is putting in, like, this right here is just a function. In the, sh in the shader. This is just a function with parameters. This is the same function as this, but with different parameters. And then this is a different function. You know, these are all different functions. You see, that's why I have them in here. So the idea is to have the users create a function that will then be referenced by the program and put right into the game. And then we'll have textures, and it's just, it's, it's going to go crazy. It's absolutely going to go crazy. It's going to be like Minecraft unwired, rewired, crazy wired. And, it's, and there's going to be mechanics, too. It's not going to be just the art, but I do want to do a huge thing for artwork. Um, obviously, that's one of the main thrusts of this is to uh, support artwork in the Minecraft world, because I, I just, I, I learned about Minecraft. I've never played it in my life, and then I got introduced to it, and it's amazing for artwork. There's a huge community just for doing the artwork, playing the game. Half you can either go all in for the, for the uh, what is it, the adventure. There's a little adventure in Minecraft, and the, or you can go all in for the artwork. And then most people do a little of both. Uh, they they skew one way towards the other. There's modded Minecraft, which is insane and awesome even more, and it's just. You can tell this motivated me strongly to want to uh, do something with, with these voxel cubes, which learning OpenGL, the way that I started learning OpenGL, I'll give a shout out to Joey DeVries here because his website got me started. This is how I learned OpenGL. 
I was using Dark GDK before and I had a problem. Some update happened on Visual Studio and Dark GDK and it was it was a wrapper around DirectX and I really wasn't learning the low level how GPUs work. So I got into OpenGL and he wa he walks you through all this the beginning from beginning to end and what I love about each one of these chapters like look at hello window here he walks you through everything teaches you everything and um, at the end the full source code is right here so you can click on it and go to the source code and if there are shaders or whatever in here the shaders are clickable it takes you to that source code so I highly recommend for starting out um, watching learn OpenGL and I'll also do another shout out for my YouTube channel here because my most popular video, if you go on to here, oh good, it shrunk the cha shrunk the uh, video. That was the video that had the issue. My most popular video is changing project directory. I don't remember that being the most popular. <laughs> That's not that useful. Uh, this one here, fresh install, 2022. This video walks you through everything you need to do, what Learn OpenGL does, walks you through. I should probably change the name of my channel, Learning OpenGL. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really think that was like stealing from Learn OpenGL, but I guess it is. <clears throat> Anyways, Shooter, Main Space Planets. Okay, let's go to that one. This is the shooter that I made. Let's see if that particular version add existing. So is did I move that one into the here or is it main space planets? It says it says 18 but I've got 20 on here. Let's see what 20 is. <laughs> what did I do? It might be broken, I don't know. So initially I was just gonna put up uh, 20 doesn't work. <laughs> got some issues. Let's go back to 18, which I think is in cleanup. Hey there, hold on just a second. Let me see who's in chat, and I will, after I load this up, cleanup, uh, main, space, planets, 18. There it is. Should have just typed it in, whatever. Okay. Let's see. Who said hello? I heard, hey, Infinite Coder, what up, dude? Sorry I started late. <laughs> Oh, I drank last night. Me looking at Git. <laughs> you always say that. I'm not going to do Git until I start making this as a career. This is not a career. <laughs> but I do need to back up stuff. I know. I'll do that. I'll probably do that on stream to show off my power shot. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's the, um, the shaders are probably in the uh, cleanup. I did a cleanup a while back when I... Hold on. Yeah, look at all the shaders here. Oh boy, we're screwed. Huh? Um, uh, there's a lot of shaders here. What can I do? Let's replace each one of them has... Let's be lazy. Let's be lazy. Let's go like this. Okay, space. And then underscore. Watch this. Edit, find and replace, quick replace, shader space width. <laughs> Clean up space underscore. We're going to replace all. There we go. Now we're going to go, okay, it looks like it's a VS, so we're going to go like this space underscore hold on not done yet edit find and replace so we're going to turn that we're just oh computer what are you doing so take that out okay Oh, this is not... All right, whatever. <laughs> is it a space there? Yeah, space, that, then that, then space. Yeah, let's mess it up even more. It's okay. 
Boom. Okay. Probably took the same amount of time. So let's see if that picks up the shaders. Yep, that picks up the shaders. Music, lines of code. I don't think I have the music going, but yeah, I did this, sh this shooter a while back, and I, I should probably pick it up and work on it uh, a little bit more than I have. Um, but I added the shaders, the textures, everything. I added a little, that's supposed to be a boss in the center there. Uh, <clears throat> And I was just going to release this as a demo on Steam and continue to work on it as just kind of a uh, to get community, you know, to be recognized for uh, making a video game. Um, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't looked at this in a while. This reminds me of my old game for my portable console. I could make this pretty cool now that I've got the shader playground going on. So there's the um, there's the space uh, uh, the, what's it called shooter space shooter. I just did a small stream which proved that I finally did audio, but I don't want to hear how random negative one to one sounds at a hundred percent volume. This reminds me of my old game for my portable console. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, the audio from your streams I can only take it for a few minutes or a few seconds. So. <laughs> but cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> okay, so that one. So there's the shooter. Okay, so the platformer, this is really cool. This is one of the first games that I started to work on when I learned OpenGL. I'll show you the platformer here. It looks like there's two. Um, <coughs> Infinite uh, Coder zero 01. It was a simple test audio feed, but now it's terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> So it looks like it, this is all in cleanup. So let's go clean up. Infinite Coder zero Main one. But now I can up mixer and play music on stream. Really? That's awesome. Really? Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Infinite Coder DJ. <laughs> okay, let's look at it because I'm sure this is going to have issues with the shaders. If there are shaders in it. I don't see shaders. Bam, 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 bam. Is it because these have shaders hard coded into them? Oh no! I used to, before I had loaded shaders with um, the files. Yeah, the shaders hard coded into. It. Okay, that's fine. We can fix Infinite that. Coder zero one. Hmm. What if I include DJ contest in the event? <laughs> that's cool. A New Year's event, huh? Yeah. I'm not gonna do. I won't be awake. <laughs> Bam 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 da 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 bam da bam So I was just showcasing a lot of these uh things that I could do like Infinite Coder Zero One. It will last for a week twenty four seven. Like the thing that moves through the sky there, that little animation. I was just I was just learning all this stuff. And the stuff that's building over there to the left you, if you look at the screen carefully, the mouse is deactivated, but to the left, the platform is <coughs> the platform is actually dimmed just a little bit so that the blocks that you're collecting will show up on the left as your inventory and be noticeable. But you can also change the platforms with a touch of a key. So this is one where there's like a little box with d dots d bouncing around inside of it. And then there's two, which is an animated uh, fragment shader dot code thing. <laughs> and then there's three, which is non-animated, but it's random colors. And then there's four, which is tessellation. I was just like, can I put tessellation down there? And I did. Because I'm nerdy and crazy. Nerdy and crazy. And then the, the plants are procedurally generated. This is my first attempt at plants. These These slowly animating <laughs> plants which you know I had their idea idea but they look kind of they look pretty cool actually I need to get into them and just kind of do a, a 2.0 on those or 1.0 because it looks like they didn't make it to 1.0 in fact they didn't you know okay so wait <coughs> so you code all these games in one file how does that work no actually I don't 
um, for each <clears throat> for each component I have a class yeah let's see what what was this next one I mean this is the same thing but I did some work on it I've got a lot of iterations of it four four there we go oops there we go this one might have issues I don't no, I don't remember. See, I, I have a basic class for the system, so that starts the window, gets the thing going, gives you stuff that you're going to code with every single time that you make a game. goes in there. And then, like, the planetary rings are here, the little robot dude is here, all the platform stuff is here. Oh, sorry, Zydek, I thought I was talking to Infinite Coder. <laughs> hey, welcome, Zydag. Wait, so you code all these games in one file? How does that work? So yeah, I actually don't. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, like, the Planetary Rings is in its own class. That's the background. The player, you know, that's its own class. Just the little sprite dude. The platform. Um, so game revisited January 2023. Oh, that explains it. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be able to load the shaders, but let's compile it and run it. I gotta f probably have to point it to the shaders. Oh no, it's working. Is it though? No, it's not working. Because it's not getting the planetary rings here, so hold on. Let me just put this in here. We'll get the planetary rings. Because I think that's one of the main uh, updates I did to this one. Is the rings. Yeah, okay, so there we go. There we go. <laughs> this was just an idea that I had. And I added a bunch of... Uh, let's go to the top here so you can see a little bit more what's going on. And then we'll just jump. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Okay, what are you guys saying? Where's this at? He uses Git, which is called Shader Fragment 25. <laughs> I never did tessellation geometry shaders because the moment I looked into shaders is when I've used WebGL, EGL, and they don't support such. You should try my shader thing that I just released, the Shader Playground, bro. I'm telling you, it'll change your world. I'm going to fiddle around with it later. Because what I'm going to be able to do now is in the Shader Playground, I can load each one of these. And I can fiddle with the data just a little bit and hard code it in the ends and play around with it. This is one thing that I would like to do. Absolutely. Shader Playground, bro. And Planetary Rings. This is one. Okay, actually, let me go like this because I, I will work on this later in the Shader Playground. Let's go up here. Shader Playground. Let's go like this. Old Demos Revisited. Revisited Shader Playground Material. Because each one. Yeah, exactly, bruh. Exactly. Okay. So let's look a little bit closer at this one, I think. Is there anything else that I did in this one? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's that's it. I think the main thing was the background, which looks weird, like kind of a, like kind of like you're looking through a camera or something. I think the reason I did this is because that is all done in the shader. I don't remember. <laughs> Whereas previously I did it, and uh, because I think I have, I have a geometry shader on this one. Wow. <laughs> okay. Nice. Got a geometry shader on that one. That's crazy. That's cool looking. Okay. Yeah, that, I'm definitely going to play with that in the shader shader uh, playground. In fact, I'm curious to look at that right now. Um, and that's it for the showcase, the main part of the showcase. There's a bunch of other little demos and stuff that I should probably look up. Um, but right now, a bunch of other demos and stuff that are really from my, you know, but they're all on my YouTube channel and stuff. <coughs> So how long was this stream? It's only 30 minutes. I, we'll just call that an intro to the to the stream. I think what I can do 
is go like this. Showcasing my work, shader, playground, coding game. That pretty much, that is not inaccurate. So we're gonna move right to the shader playground and look at that. Let's look at these and see what they're doing. <laughs> Let's pull it up here, remove. Because I'm curious what this will look like. Where are we at? Station generator, okay. I really need to change the main on that because it's not, not a big deal. Um, all right, well, here's the thing. Let's see if I can load. Mm, let's see if I can load with a directory. Okay, so what I have down here is the two loads. I have default and test, right? Okay, so let's scroll back up. And this is just going to be vertex geometry fragment. So let's go like this and paste that in there. Now, will that load that? It will. Sweet. Okay, okay. That is sweet. Um, let's just try, let's just get the geometry shit. Now I can look at this. Uh, this is exactly what I want to do. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. There's the geometry shader. Load that. So we're literally looking at what the demo I was just looking at now. The shader from that. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Don't be shy. Just get right in there and copy paste. Okay, now load that up. Now if I update, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so what is the input? See, the input here is what it's expecting. Okay, so this is interesting. This is probably what I should work on with the shader playground. Because when I load this particular one, right? Position, color, radius, laser. <laughs> so what actually was, let's go back to that. Planetary rings. Let's load main. Did I get it from cleanup? I think I was in cleanup. I had to go to cleanup. Main uh, gem game 44. I'm just going to open the file. I'm not loading it into the project. So, so there's that. Planetary rings. This is what we want to look up, right? Because planetary rings is the load shaders in it data. Okay, so let's look at planetary rings, uh, which is probably... Oh, it did load it with a click. That's good. <clears throat> Position, color, radius, laser, 240 vertices. Okay, so this is drawn on screen, it looks like. Let's take a look. Process input, update data. The laser ring, laser plus equals rings, ring laser speed. So there's a speed variable. Okay. Draw, 240 points. That's how it does it. Okay, that's what I was curious of. So 240 points. Um, um, no. <laughs> so 240 points. So let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go into here. Um, what do we have there? Let's go into OpenGL. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Clean up. Okay. So where's, where, what, where's that, what was that called again? Planetary underscore ring zero zero one. Okay, gotcha. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> and this was updated in January, it looks like. Planetary. I don't see it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Getting closer. Planetary underscore ring zero zero one. Okay, we got it right there. So th as long as there's no planetary rings too and all that fun stuff. Besides, I don't want to save it in cleanup. I want to play around with this. Let's go planetary rings. Zero, zero, two. And let's save it right there. So that one, I just want to make sure that my program is behaving itself on computer you know that's not what I want there we go okay and no preview available that's fine though <coughs> blah, blah. 
So position, color, radius, and this is why it's not working right now. So position. So what it had previously was it was drawing 240 points. So what we can do is break it up since it's a circle. We can break it up into a half each was 120 points. Uh, this was it was out it was outputting 145. Oh, but let's break it up into four of 60 points. But that would be four points. Hmm. How many points are we drawing? I forget. I forget. I drank last night, so if I seem a little bit casual today, enjoy it. Because I am. I'm very casual. So three points. So let's. What's 240 divided by 380 each? Okay, we can do that. So then we can do two pi divided by three. Two thirds pi. That's fine. That is fine. I'm okay with that. So we just, and then each one just has a color radius and the laser. Okay, whatever. I'm just mostly interested in keeping the geometry. Um, so the position is that. So planetary rings init data RGB. I got you there. Okay. Position equals zero. Radius 0.15 plus I times that. I times that. Is that? And then there's got to be an angle in here somewhere. Position equals that. Radius. Hold on. Variation. Color. Laser. Speed. Position equals zero? And then it just sends in a radius? What? Oh, there is a radius in here. And then the radius goes out to the geometry shader. Oh. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> VR equals V out radius. Bulge <laughs> equals <laughs> bulge, huh? <laughs> Zero to 72. Out color, out color. Angle equals this. Oh, here it is right here. Position VR times angle. Okay. All right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so that's cool, but let's 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 do this. Uh, we, we, since the radius is going to be, um, oh, I guess, hmm, 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 hmm. It draws two hundred and forty points, and then each point is a circle. That's what it is. That's what's going on here. So I'm thinking about this wrong. It's drawing 240 points and it's magnifying it out to line strips and the vertices that it's putting out for each point is a line strip circle of 145 points. Ah, oh, I gotcha. So with three points, I can magnify it out to a hundred. So I have 300 to work with. Oh, all right. Well, that'll be for another time. <laughs> that'll be for another time. That'll be something interesting to work with, though. Hmm. So we're definitely going to save that there. And then I also, I guess I could put a note to myself. Planetary underscore rings zero zero two. Okay, let's see if we can find another old demo. Let's go through. Let's go through and find... We'll just find an old demo that I haven't worked with in a while. This one's interesting. Dwarf Fortress. Maybe I should just start playing games. <laughs> I should just load up Minecraft. Also, Itch is really cool. Any games you want me to play from Itch, I will strongly consider. Strongly consider. Okay, this lighting, lighting demo is really cool. Oh, you know, that's something I should put into the Shader Playground, is support for lights. Yeah. That's something I really haven't gotten into. 
but would be really cool. So, hmm, what's this one? Computer. I don't even like my own stuff. Okay, so what is this one? YouTube GUI. Can you disappear so I can read the screen? Thank you. Main space gems not showing. Wait, took out the star implemented F for full screen view for windowed mode. Basic classes version 003E. Hmm. Hmm? It's the space gems? What was I? Okay, <coughs> where? Oh yeah, we should go back to doing that too. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. We can add this as different like levels and biomes and stuff as the player explores. That's what we're going to do. the flowers as the shader that's what I want to work on yes the flowers Jeff okay let's find that one hold up super shapes are one thing that's there but the flowers we could work on that mm -hmm. Okay, um, I need to coffee, lunch, all kind of stuff. I did a little showcase, probably went a little bit longer I'm going to than I wanted to. So I'm going to end stream and I'll come back shortly. Thank you for watching. Do we have, what do we got? Two? <laughs> Let's raid. Who are we raiding? Two is good enough to raid. See if White Volt is still on. Okay, start raid. Say hi to White Volt. He's pretty cool. He got the raid from Thor earlier, so. Okay, let's let the ads run out there. And raid now. And stop streaming.